Within the last hour, a judge has dropped petty larceny charges against the former supervisor of Henrietta. 13 Man was the only news crew with cameras in the court to update the story that we first told you about last October. Michael Udison speaking exclusively with our own Jane Flash, who joins us now outside the East Rochester court where the decision was made. Jane. Well, Don, Mike Udelson was originally accused of stealing $6,000 from taxpayers by using the town hall copier for his 2013 re-election campaign. Turns out the amount of money allegedly taken is a whole lot less, and there are other problems with the evidence. This was uh, petty politics. Uh, I'm a prime example of that. Uh, it's the kind of stuff that people just don't want. Speaking out about claims he used paper, ink, and copiers paid for by Henrietta taxpayers to run his campaign. Logs taken from the copier hard drive show someone copied this letter 6,100 times in the months before the election. The documents also show dozens of similar transactions. Turns out the copier software and other information was taken from town hard drives by a member of the current supervisor, Jack Moore's campaign staff. He also stored it at his home for weeks. This was a person who was involved in a campaign, uh, was paid by the town to do an investigation into the person who had just lost the election. Uh, the conclusions can be left up to other people. Udelson will pay restitution of $465 for making some copies, yet he is not admitting his guilt. The amount of copies that we could prove were actually related to his election campaign was much uh, lower than what was uh, initially provided to us. These are all invoices. We've he provided 13 Wham News with dozens of receipts for campaign flyers and ads. Ultimately, he stands by his reputation. I've been involved in the town for over 30 years. Uh, I think people know me very well and uh, are going to judge me on uh, that body of work that I uh, did. Now, I just spoke by phone to current supervisor Jack Moore, he tells me, and this is a quote, at the end of the day, taxpayers are being repaid. The prosecutor did his job. I was obligated to do mine. Reporting live in East Rochester, Jane Flash, 13 Wham News. All right. Hey, thank you, Jane.